All right, plenty to talk about with this weather forecast. We would like to see this radar light up. We need some real rain across the southeast. Haven't had any in a little while, and we could use some. We're talking 15 plus inches behind with rainfall so far this year at the Tallahassee Airport. Today, our chances stay pretty slim. Now, we saw a couple of showers yesterday, had a couple of thunderstorms yesterday. Can absolutely see some more of those again today, but I think our chances small and not for everybody. Dry air in the middle and upper levels of the atmosphere, that's what we're looking at here on the water vapor imagery. These darker colors sort of just sliding back towards the Gulf Coast. We've got higher pressure at the surface. Both make it hard for those showers to get going. So another day today where we expect those high temperatures and for long durations. It's 70 right now in Thomas. Well, that's right where it's supposed to be. We're at 74 in Valdosta. We're at 75 in Tallahassee. A little bit on the warmer side of normal. Nice to see some temperatures that start with a 6 in Blakely and in Monticello, 68 and 69. But check out Carabelle where it's 81. So quite the variety of temperatures this morning. It is mostly a little bit warm and muggy out there this morning. And we have a lot of those dew point temperatures up into the 70s. We'd like to see these start falling, but I don't think that's going to be the case over the next several days. I actually think they're going to start rising and we're going to start to feel a little bit more of that icky sticky factor out there. Most of the southeast is still pretty much for the same old nothing, and that's because of that ridge of high pressure that has been slowly shrinking and relaxing its grip a little bit over the past couple of days. That should continue. And as we get towards Thursday and Friday and this weekend, now we'll have a better chance to cook up a few more clouds, get a few more showers. All the while, it's still going to be awfully hot out there. Now we start to turn our attention onto what's going on down towards the Turks and Caicos Islands. Got some tropical energy, not real organized, not likely going to organize right away. But as this moisture starts to drift back towards the Florida Straits and the peninsula and maybe even the Gulf Coast, that moisture will bring better rain chances to our area. And that's if it never even starts to organize. It could organize over the next couple of days. So we'll be watching that one very carefully. Two other areas of tropical weather out there. Neither one looking like they're going to do anything soon, but certainly they bear monitor as well. All right, let's talk a little forecast time. Winds on the Gulf around here today, 8 to 16, mainly from the east and southeast. Not bad for the boat, a little breezy at times. We're doing the low tides first this morning. They'll finish at 9:11. Mostly clear, sun at 70s for temperatures. Rain chances like 20 or 30% today, so better than 0%, but not quite the rain chances we're looking for. I think for many of us, it's going to be lots of hours in the mid-90s. Tonight, it's low 70s. It'll be a little bit more muggy. We'll look for some patchy fog tomorrow morning. And over the next couple of afternoons, I'd like to see those temperatures step back a little bit more. But for that to happen, we need a few more clouds and a few more showers. By the weekend, we start talking about that tropical moisture, even if nothing organizes. I think that brings with it better chances for showers and better chances to keep those temperatures in the 80s.